This is a heartwarming romantic comedy that began with a certain incident. When Kasan saved his co-worker Subaru from a fall, she did it by catching him by the posterior. Struck by its softness, she's intrigued, and this leads the two of them to share in a secret and eventually romance. This is the rom-com manga series, Kaysan and Subaru. Kaysan and Subaru both work as designers at a toy design and development company. While displaying that year's newest designs, Subaru slips off a ladder and starts to fall to the floor. Luckily, Kaysan was able to catch him and direct his fall by grabbing his butt. After the fall, she is troubled. Kaysan was intrigued by how similar Subaru's butt and her favorite childhood character felt. At the same time, Kaysan felt guilty because Subaru might have been uncomfortable. Kaysan was overcome by the urge to apologize profusely. On the other hand, it looks like Subaru is hiding something. With this trouble on her mind, she eventually finds out what Subaru is hiding. It seems that his hobby is cross-dressing. When he gets the courage to show her how he looks, she starts to fangirl about his looks, though he is totally embarrassed with being seen out in public. After some encouragement from Kaysan, Subaru meets his cross-dressing idol and they convince him to cosplay as a tall female protagonist. Kaysan becomes jealous at seeing how close Subaru's mentor is during the shoot and realizes that she has feelings for him no matter how he's dressed. Turns out that he also has feelings and is also relieved that she accepts his hobby and actively encourages it, sometimes too much. But he too has feelings for her and they become a couple. Kaysan and Subaru is a series that was also written by Yabana Kinstu called Sweat and Soap. Unlike in Sweat and Soap, where the couple ends up in bed by the end of chapter 2, this series is, again, a slow burner where Kaysan and Subaru have not even kissed, much less did a pillow romp. By the way the cross-dressing is handled, is done in a non-fetish way and is more intended as a hobby. Subaru is in love with Kaysan and just because he likes to dress up does not indicate that he has bi feelings much less wants to be with other guys. The series handles the cross-dressing in a mindful way with Subaru always embarrassed to be out in public dressed like that. But with Kaysan's encouragement, he slowly comes to grips about his own feelings and looks in a dress. Kaysan and Subaru's comedy is more on Kaysan's side as the main character and mostly never at Subaru's expense. But of course, there will be the usual misunderstandings that happens in all rom-com manga, but that's part of the charm of the series. Since this is put forward as a total adult series, nothing to do with high school for once, they can handle more adult themes and thus the comedy is a little more sublime. Kaysan and Subaru is a complete series of five volumes. So far, there are 27 chapters translated in e-manga format and I don't see it in hard copy like his predecessor, Sweat and Soul. I can see this turning into an anime, even though it doesn't have an adult theme. It would not have to worry about having to be one of those late night animes as there is no nudity or other looter stuff present, at least in the 27 chapters that are out in English so far. Kaysan and Subaru is a pleasant rom-com with a familiar yet different theme to it as the couple tries to explore more about his hobby. Another cross-dressing manga series that also is more of an adult theme is, while cross-dressing, I was hit on by a handsome guy. And you can form more about that here. Just ignore the world for Avatar again. <laughs> That's it for another nice lesser-known manga rom-com series. Hit the like button and come back again for more as you check out the over 300 other series in my library. Bye.